For many retailers, importing goods remains a highly manual, error-prone, labor-intensive, paper-based, and spreadsheet-driven process with numerous challenges. Inaccurate estimated landed cost calculation, labor-intensive order tracking, complex HTS codes maintenance, and inaccurate financial records are just some of the examples retailers face when importing goods. Oracle Retail Trade Management provides the best practice infrastructure for effectively managing the import process. RMS supports the ordering and import processes with reports and dashboards, such as sales reports, early and late shipments, open to buy, and orders pending approval. For example, the early and late shipments report shows orders where the delivery window, as defined by the not before and not after dates, is in the next eight weeks and has potential issues. The orders pending approval report highlights orders that need to be reviewed by the buyer for approval and meet the filter criteria entered. Now we see an import order. Landed cost is the total cost of an item received from a vendor inclusive of the supplier cost and all costs associated with moving the item from the supplier's warehouse or factory to the final destination, either warehouse or store. Estimated landed cost, or ELC, is composed of cost components from the supplier, trading partners, item, origin country, and banks, which are brought together during the purchase order creation to develop an estimate of costs associated with purchasing a particular item. Cost components are combinations of individual expenses, assessments, and the calculations associated with that expense or assessment. The calculated ELC is shown on the screen in which the configured duties and expenses are calculated. We can check the applied assessments and expenses on the order. A letter of credit, or LC, is a bank instrument used by most retailers to finance the purchase of imported goods. We have to fill the applicant field, which was defined at PO level, and we need to add the issuing bank partner as well. The transportation functionality in RTM provides a facility to track information from trading partners as merchandise is transported from the manufacturer through customs clearance in the importing country. However, we can manage it by the mass update function as well. If the item's gross weight is greater than the defined weight at dimension level, we can record the actual weights on the transportation record. It can be recorded based on the packing list which was sent by the supplier. We can record some additional information to the transportation record with the timelines function which can be fully configured by the retailer. When we finalize the transportation, the customs entry record has been generated automatically by the system. Assessments including duty, taxes, fees, and other charges will be allocated into the ALC directly from the Customs Entry Charges table. We will need to fill in the payee and the date when we are ready on the header level. We will need to also add the cleared quantity during the Customs Clearance. We can check other information as well, and if one or more of the data entries needs to be changed, we can execute it on the Customs Entry Detail level. Once all of the necessary information has been added, the user will set the status to send, indicating that the customs entry is ready to be sent to the broker. As an item progresses through the import process, bills are received from various service providers. As non-merchandise invoices are received from trade partners and suppliers, they can be recorded in the obligations module. For example, many consolidators and shippers charge per container regardless of the container's contents. More specifically, they may charge an air transportation charge of $2 for each kg. In this case, a transportation container level would be used and the $2 air transportation charge would be allocated down to each PO item combination. RMS can track the actual landed cost and the variance between ELC and ALC can be reviewed. We can now see the ALC review screen and the PO we just created for which the customs entry, transportation shipment, and the obligations were recorded. In our example, the created obligation for air transportation includes the variance compared with the ELC value, so the discrepancy comes from the defined greater gross weight. Quickborn's highly experienced merchandising solution, consulting, and service practice 
provides implementation, integration, and support services for Oracle Retail Merchandising Operations Management Solution.